hoist Dragon out of the water. Oh, still getting a view from the WB, uh, the airplane flying overhead. It gave us those, those great views of really our first views of Bob and Doug reentering the Earth's atmosphere uh, from up above. You can see the four parachutes in the water. Uh, we heard those were cut automatically uh, as expected by Dragon. Uh, so for now, the crew just standing by. Again, they're going to stay in their suits, in their seats. Uh, we're waiting for all these initial checks. Dragon, SpaceX, come check. Oh, it was amazing. I wish everybody could have had my view. It was such a beautiful day. It was a gorgeous day. The water is calm. Really the best weather we could have asked for. Um, and we did. We heard the, um, the sonic booms as it made us way back. We were able to find it early on as the parachutes were deploying. So it's very exciting for everybody who was gathered here. That's incredible. We actually had some questions from people if you'd be able to hear the sonic boom and we weren't sure. So I'm really glad you just answered that for us. Um, it is certainly no longer a bright shade of white. <laughs> like we said, those external temperatures uh, were reaching up to 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit. So the thermal protective systems, thermal protection systems, uh, enable Dragon to return while keeping the internal temperature rather temperate. And you are seeing a few more boats than expected. Um, the team's currently working uh, with a few private vessels uh, in the area, making sure that they get out of there. So we are being advised that uh, the recovery team is radioing out to the vessels in the water near Crew Dragon to vacate the area uh, so that we're able to extract Bob and Doug safely. Uh, you know, also for the safety of those folks in the area as well, not just Bob and Doug. Yeah, this is, this is obviously a dynamic operation. One of the first things we do is make sure there aren't essentially poisonous fumes around the capsule. So. Uh, something like this just really can endanger the whole thing, endanger the crew members and endanger themselves. So uh, the SpaceX team is moving in to try and get them away so they can safely recover the Dragon capsule and get Bob and Doug on deck and safely inside their medical quarters. So we can see them. They're getting a lot closer. Uh, we expect uh, about 10 minutes or so until they should be in position. Uh, all the rigging has been affixed on the Dragon capsule. And once they arrive, they'll be able to use that hydraulic lift to get Dragon up and out of the water. Again, we are anticipating that lift uh, to begin in just under 15 minutes. We're approaching 14 minutes here. Uh, and then in 21 minutes, we will have an open hatch. <laughs> and you can see the main recovery vessel in the top right there. That's the helipad with uh, the big SpaceX X on top. It's now backing up towards the capsule. Certainly not to be confused with one of our uh, landing drone ships. <laughs> of, Dragon, uh, of Dragon floating in the water there in the background, along with many onlookers. <laughs> certainly from a safer distance at this point. Uh, this is a live shot coming from Go Navigator, our rec primary recovery vessel here. So it's dra Crew Dragon is also accompanied by the fast boats that are helping to bring it in closer. 